It was a matchup of 3-0 Canton and 1-2 Milford. Canton was looking for revenge on the Scarlet Hawks after losing 38-35 to Milford last year at home. But the Scarlet Hawks had other ideas for this game as they were hoping to even out their record at 500. But in any case, it would be Canton that would get the first score of the game. Line up in the gun, up back to his right, motion from left to right. It's a hit up to the motion man, just going to throw down field, a wide open receiver on the corner, and he holds it in. And that is going to be a Canton Bulldog touchdown, a 24-yard touchdown reception by Anthony Ross, who is also listed as a quarterback on the roster. He threw that pass to J. Ron Reynolds. Hagan lined up on center, man in the backfield, it's going to be a handoff to the motion man, coming right to left, and into the end zone for the touchdown, a three-yard touchdown run, Jerron Reynolds, and a big score for Canton right at the end of the half. At the half, Canton was in charge, it was a 14-3 lead for the Bulldogs, but the second half, it would be a completely different story. Line up, in the gun, a back to his right. Lot back to the left side with a receiver spread out to either side. Takes the snap looking downfield. Will throw downfield. To the right side over everybody. The beat Schuler. The 20, the 10, and into the end zone. A 57 yard touchdown by Pete Schuler. Thrown by Zach Lanzetta. And the Scarlet Hawks are right back in the game. Hearns lined up with a back to either side, a three receiver set with two receivers spread out to the left. Hearns takes the snap, hand off to the right back. It's Gwynor coming up the middle, cutting across a number of tacklers and will get into the end zone for the touchdown. A 25 yard touchdown run for Quentin Orr and the Scarlet Hawks are on top. 16 to 14. With a touchdown right at the end of the third quarter, the Milford Scarlet Hawks were up 17 to 14 heading into the fourth quarter, but the game was far from over. Higgins in the gun, a back to his left, two receivers spread out to the right, now one motion from right to left, takes the snap, throws to the corner, and great defensive play made by Jack DeSantis on the corner of the end zone. It was in the hands of Sharon Reynolds, but Jack DeSantis breaks it up and makes it third and ten. That could have been the game saver right there. Field goal unit still out there for Kent. Thomas Monego get another shot at it once again. The snap and the kick. And it is good. And we have ourselves a tie game at 17 apiece. 5-0-1 left to go. The Scarlet Ox will get the ball back. Burns in the gun with a back to his left. It's a three receiver set to the left side. Hands it off to Rodriguez. Rodriguez sweeping up the right side. Great spray at the 10. And into the end zone for the touchdown. A Scarlet Hawk touchdown. A 33 yard touchdown for Jonathan Rodriguez. The Milford Scarlet Hawks are back on top. 23 to 17. Hagan lined up in the gun, a back to his left, a four receiver set, three spread out to the left. Takes the snap, rolls out to his left, has a target, it is complete to about the 35, pick it up the far sideline, a first down, and a little bit more as Anthony Ross takes it to around the 45, about a 12 yard pickup there by the senior captain. Now with a back to either side, three spread out to the right, three spread out to the left, takes the snap, goes up the middle, has a target, and wide open, marching up field, Anthony Ross. And we'll get right into the end zone. A 54-yard touchdown pass from Brian Hagan to Anthony Ross. And with the extra point, this game will be tied. This is against Canton. Unsportsmanlike conduct pushes the extra point attempt. Ball marks at the 18-yard line. Snap, the kick. And it is short. It will be down in the Milford end zone, but it is short. So the Scarlet Hawks have the 24-23 lead. 2-12 left to go. A excessive celebration penalty. Pushed back the extra point, and it was no good. And off to Rodriguez. Up the middle. Finds the seam. And it will go into the end zone. 
down, and there is a flag. So that officially was a touchdown by Rodriguez. The extra point was good. One more opportunity for the Bulldogs to try to stay undefeated, or at least tie it up to send it over. We'll see. Hagan in the gun. Back to his left, a four receiver set, three line up to the left side, takes a snap, looking downfield. Under pressure, throws a long one down the middle, and it's intercepted. And actually, it was dropped by Quinton Orr, but on the very last play, Quinton Orr and Jack DeSantis with a big collision and a little bit nerve wracking. Quinton Orr is lifting a little bit towards the sideline. So you hope on that last play that Quinton Orr and Jack DeSantis did not get injured. In any case, the Milford Scarlet Hawks have come away with the 31-23 victory in what was an absolutely miraculous game. The Scarlet Hawks improved a 2-2 on the season, while the Canton Bulldogs fall to 3-1. But what a show it was on Thursday night football here at Milford High School.